You want to make Naruto wig melodies like this? And watch this video because I'm gonna be breaking down this melody. This shit hard. Get right into it. So I did this melody with my boy Fads. I took one of his starters that he sent me and put it in reverse and just looped it. Oh, the effects that I put on that was just a low cut, cuts at 500 hertz, and a slight pan. Then I made a version that's pitched down an octave, and it's got the same exact effects on it, pretty much. This one just cuts at 200 hertz. Now, I made a bus for both of these mixer channels to lead into, and it's just called Sample. But it's got um, stereo separation, a tremolator that is automated to trigger. You can see. The next thing I did was the keys. I just found someone that I thought sounded good in Adam. I really like these sounds because they're really high quality. This is what they sound like. Another simple sound. Uh, the only effect that's on it is a crystallizer and that's what gives it that reversing effect. The chords were simple. The way that I got D and A is normally when you do a chord, you would skip a note in the scale. And there you go. If you delete the middle note, you got D and A and I just pitched it up an octave and just filled notes in, be in between. So the next part is these bells that I got from Expand. So this is what it sounds like originally before the effects. Really easy melody to make. So let me explain it real quick. So I took the D from the root note and got the F from that chord that I was talking about earlier here. And then I took this chord, I took a bass note, brought it down an octave to give it more support. Then I played the E because it's right next to the F and has really good tension. And then you might be thinking, how did I get the A? But it just follows the chord. But anyways, after I did that, I made the top melody and it just follows that note next to each other, tension, you know what I'm saying? So I just played whatever I thought sounded right. And then on the second half, just pitched it up a whole octave. And then that's pretty much it for the MIDI. Then I brought it into the mixer and just threw some effects on. So the first effect that I put on is Portal. I chose Antimatter from the Stretch and Smear folder. This is what that sounds like. I know, very high pitch. The next thing I threw on was a gross beat, and this is just a simple reverse pattern. After that, I threw on a halftime, and usually this is the sauce for the Nardo Wick melodies. This is what gives it that Nardo Wick sound. The only thing that I did was I adjusted the smooth effect, and I pulled it all the way down. And what this does is at the end, it makes it kind of turn the effect off for a second. After that, I just threw the basic Wishwash 2 preset just for the reverse at the end. And in combination with the halftime, it sounds really good. And then just a low cut. After that, I did the piano, super basic. It's just on the root note. This, I just went up seven notes. No effects on the piano, by the way. Next thing I added was a simple synth bass on the bass note. I don't know how common this bass sample is, so I like to throw some effects on it, but this is just personal preference. You guys can do whatever you want to do. Then I threw in these contact strings. Not really that complicated again. All the notes really are just in that chord that I was telling you about before. The F was really just supposed to be a top note. So it's D, A, D, A, D, just to support each other. And then there's an A at the top just to change the feel. That's really it. For the strings, we just panned it to the left a little bit, threw on an EQ and boosted some frequencies that I thought sounded good. Threw a crystallizer on up 1200 cents and put the mix at like 55%. I threw a reverb on there and then a stereo imager at like, I think this is like two. And then the last thing I did was the intro. So how I did that was I soloed the starter, grabbed a tape stop, created an automation clip on the trigger, put it like that, and then put it on like two or three. So I would just export this right here and then I would get back. And all I did from there was I just put it in reverse and put the low piano note.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, throw some support down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.